welcome to Nesting Story. Today, I'm gonna to do something I haven't done for a very long time. I'm gonna show you a grocery haul. I just got back from Walmart and did a huge shop, and I'm gonna show you everything I got. Um, this is for myself and my four kids, and um, while we're home, like my kids are home every day, um, and they are not in camps or anything. They will be going back to school in September and we're in Canada. So this grocery shop was $280 uh, Canadian, which was actually amazing. I can't believe how much I got for that. So before I start, I'm gonna show you how I plan out the week. So what I did was take my Erin Condren planner and just plan out meals for the week and depending on if I'm going out or not, like how easy they'll be and just some activities that I know we will have this week. And then I've been using our kitchen whiteboard as a menu lately for dinners. Um, kind of for the kids, but more for me just to get back on track. I feel like in July it got a little kind of scattered and I just like to go into the week really, really organized. So I've laid everything out here. I've tried to organize it kind of by like snacks and dinners and stuff. Um, I also got caught in pouring rain, so I'm like trying to dry off here. But um, I feel really good about what I got. And something that I've kind of done since quarantine started was relax a little bit about some sweets and some kind of like hand stuff or box stuff a bit here and there. Cause I learned about a month ago, I'm like, I need to survive. I need to kind of like, I'm also watching my budget. So um, anytime something's on sale, I'll buy more of one or it'll help dictate what I'm getting. So we'll start over here with breakfast. So I, on a whim at the beginning of quarantine, cause Holden was so sad, <laughs> bought him toaster strudels, something I loved as a kid and he loves them. And so I've kind of figured, you know why I buy them and we kind of have them about every third day. Um, or he does, I think he's the only kid that likes them, but it's just kind of like a special treat for him. He's not a sweets guy usually. So I don't mind him having that little treat bread for either toast or, or grilled cheese or things for lunches. Um, twins love pancakes. I just kind of whipped up some muffins this morning with a mix. We have the natural maple syrup. I got myself some um, canned coffee. I have my Nespresso with the pods, but every once in a while I like to switch to the canned coffee just to save a bit. Um, and then sometimes I'll just pull out my Nespresso maker for special occasions and stuff. So we got some bagels, Holden likes bagels. Actually, a lot of the kids like bagels with Nutella or peanut butter or cream cheese. Um, we've got some waffles here. Some kids like the original Egos, some like the Belgian style fluffy ones, some Nutella. So this marinara sauce I got for, um, I've been using wraps sometimes to make pizzas and I'll just put some cheese on it. Um, the girls like that for their lunches. So I got that one. Ketchup was on sale, so I grabbed a couple of those. I like to have some turkey on hand for sometimes for a lunch that's faster, and Everly likes that too. She likes a little variety plate for lunches. I've switched mostly to frozen berries for my oatmeal and at breakfast. Um, it's way more cost efficient because I was going through so many fresh berries, and I like it because I know um, I'm not going to go off in the fridge or anything like that. These are large flake oatmeal. These are not actually what I have for breakfast. This is almost my evening snack. I'll just have these uncooked with some almond milk and cinnamon. And it just kind of like quenches any kind of snacky, if I'm ever feeling hungry or snacky before bed, it's just healthier and um, kind of fuels me. And instead of getting into junky, snacky, mindless, like wandering around the kitchen. So this is great. Um, I grabbed these last minute. I don't have them in my meal plan, but I have found that sometimes for lunch, it's nice to have something super easy to just pop in the oven. Um, my kids, <laughs> it's a lot of kids to feed all the time and it's just easier. I have a big pack of hot dogs in the fridge, so I'm gonna use them up with some buns. I like to have some canned uh, pasta in the fridge on backup. I kind of always do. Hold in a meal like these, hold in, um, can sometimes not like what the girls are having so i just sometimes like to have something just a back this is like some backup these things are backup foods so we'll move over here to snacks um Bo and everly love applesauce i always buy the unsweetened and i just if you haven't seen it before i have a whole snack cupboard here so the applesauces will go in this bin and it's nice it's just like easy especially for six-year-olds to grab 
My kids love wheat thins and veggie thins, so these were on sale. So I got those two, and they like them with hummus, they like them on their own. Um, Holden really likes Tostitos. All the kids love goldfish, so I've started to buy the big family box just to save some money. And then Everly really loves her granola bars. Everly is so big and she snacks a lot, so I got her those. Bo loves to have a piece of dark chocolate at night, so I switched to the Walmart brand, the Great Value one, just to save some money. Um, she dips it in peanut butter too, so I don't think she'll really care. Um, I used to buy the store-bought muffins. Um, I, I'd love to say I cook all our muffins from, from scratch all the time, but that's like more of an occasional thing. But I was noticing um, that it's sometimes nice to just have a batch of muffins for them to grab. So they really love this one. We've been doing these a lot. And then after dinner, I try to always have some kind of dessert just to encourage them to eat all their vegetables and everything. And I typically buy something that I don't think I would dip into and eat. So these were super inexpensive. They're like under $2 a pack. Um, so these are mini chocolate glazed donuts, uh, little mini donuts, and then some chocolate chip cookies. So what I'll probably say is if they eat their dinner, they can have one of these, one of these, or two of these since they're smaller. But that's kind of my dessert, my little reward for eating their dinners. And then we'll move over here. This is kind of dinner stuff. Um, so here's some wraps. I'm going to do tacos one night and I just found out I'm always buying the little packs. It sold this big value size. So that's awesome because we don't often have the shells. We always have way, way too many shells. So I stopped buying the boxes, but that's something we're going to do this week. So I got the ground lean ground beef for that one. Um, we're going to do steamed broccoli with one of our meals, steamed carrots with one of our meals. I got a whole thing of potatoes. This was super inexpensive and I plan to do mashed potatoes one day and also potato wedges. So I thought I'm just going to save some money and buy a big batch of them. Um, the girls love Royal Gala apples. Everly loves oranges and everyone kind of loves bananas. I'm super into my avocados on my toast for lunch. That's kind of a gut healthy thing for me. Um, Bo and I love romaine lettuce. She likes to have a salad sometimes and I've been enjoying having some romaine lettuce, especially if we're having something that would require a wrap. I'll often just use this as my shell. I really like Royal Gala apples. Um, sometimes I will cut up one with the skin and chop it up and have it with a large flake oatmeal with my evening snack and I find that very filling. So there's a day I'm going to be putting a whole chicken in a crock pot. All I do is some water, balsamic vinegar, and like sage and rosemary and salt and pepper, things like that. And I just put it in for the day. It's amazing. It's the easiest dinner. So we're going to do that one day. Um, tonight I'm going to do some, I'm going to bread some chicken breasts and um, I'll probably, I won't have the breaded ones. I will maybe cook one or two for myself. I'll save one for me for tomorrow with taco night. I'm not, this type of thing doesn't agree with my stomach as much. So two, I'll bake without anything on it and then two I'll do breaded probably with just like cornflakes or something and then Friday I'm out so I got them a frozen pizza just to make life easier we're gonna do spaghetti one day so I already have the pasta sauce and spaghetti and I just grabbed some garlic bread some of my kids really love garlic bread and then I just picked up some stuff for some salads and things. So I like to have a lot of lemon water, so I always buy a bag of lemons. And I got some cilantro, I got some mint and mushrooms for some salads. I have some arugula already in the fridge and some balsamic vinaigrette for that. I find, um, yeah, I just wanna have some, I'm like craving salad this week. And then over here, our milk here in Ontario comes in bags. Um, so this is for me and Everly. They love their milk. Holden and Bo don't really drink milk unless it's with cereal. And then this is my almond milk. I've taken out dairy again. I can have goat cheese, but um, I'm finding everything else making me super bloated. And I've cut out the Greek yogurt again. So um, I'm all about my almond milk. And then just some household stuff. Some black garbage bags. And I occasionally will need some Ziploc bags and then some liners for my compost bin here. Oh, and some paper yard waste. I'm gonna be mowing the lawn on Wednesday. So that's it. That's the haul. Um, kind of like, kind of like just an easygoing video today. But I know you guys like this. It helps give you ideas for dinner and 
I think we're all just kind of like, we feel like it's a bit of a Groundhog Day during this season of life with everything going on in the world. So it can be helpful to know what other families are getting, what other families are doing to kind of watch their budget and everything like that. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.